guys. I went and seen it three times already. Great movie. I never want to, you know, as soon I, I, you know, as soon as it comes out on Blu-ray, I'm gonna go grab it. But uh, we're gonna be talking about Star Wars: The Force Awakens. There's a lot to say about this movie, but I want to try to shorten it down the most to best that I can. First of all, Star Wars fans in general have been waiting for a movie like this for fucking over 10 years. Possibly even longer than that if you really wanted a good fucking Star Wars movie. But, um... The Force Awakens is definitely really cool. Um, some really cool things about the movie. I'm going to try not to spoil it. But, um, fucking, I won't spoil it for you. But I'm going to mention some gritty details. But I won't spoil it. Some cool things I want to say about the movie without spoiling it is, um, I love, um, the Stormtrooper. You know, how they kind of showcase the Stormtrooper now. He finally took off the helmet. And you see what a Stormtrooper looks like. You know, um... I kind of love that. It was kind of mysterious there for a long time. You know, what do, what do stormtroopers uh, stormtroopers look like? And uh, that was really cool. And um, it was kind of cool. They brought, I mean, they brought uh, the Millennium Falcon back. I thought that was really cool, and it showed how old, you know, how old it was. And you know, it, it, there's a scene in the movie where she goes, uh, "Let's try that ship." She goes, it's garbage. And uh, the ship gets blown up. And uh, she's like, all right, garbage will do. And it's just really cool to see, you know, them bring those uh, old ships back, which is really cool. It's kind of like a blast from the past type of deal. And uh, obviously, you know, Harrison Ford is a, a badass in this. And I'm really glad that uh, Chewbacca is in there. And um, I just thought those elements were kind of cool. And it definitely adds to the rating. Um... And, uh, I honestly, it just, it's a kick-ass movie. And it's, and it's one of those movies that, um, you could show anybody in your family the movie. Even if they've never even seen a Star Wars movie in their life, you could show them this movie and they'd say it's a great movie. It's got a great story with a wonderful plot. And really, it widens your imagination big time. And, um, a great fantasy movie. But, uh... For the for most of all, for a Star Wars fan like myself, definitely a long awaited. We've waited for so long for a movie like this to come out, and um, I'm just glad it's here, and I'm really happy to see where the story is going, because I'm I I could see where they're going with it, and uh, it's definitely gonna be really cool here in the future to see future Star Wars movies, definitely. But um. I can't, I'm not really going to talk about it anymore, because I don't want to spoil it, but I will say this, overall, this movie has done everything, it's surpassed audiences that don't even like Star Wars to now all of a sudden kind of give Star Wars a chance, and um, it's given the big Star Wars guys the big, uh, the big thumbs up, because now they're going to be very interested in seeing what Star Wars is going to be doing now. You know, in the next five, ten years, whatever. And not only that, but I really like the new characters they uh, they brought in, you know. And uh, it's really cool. And I'm really, bla really glad they brought uh, Harrison Ford in. What a fucking... Uh, how fucking cool. And, um... Yeah. Um, all, all I gotta say is you gotta see it. But you know what? I'm gonna rate this one close to a 10 I don't think it's a 10 but I believe it's a definite 9.5 and I suggest anyone to see it anybody that's a Star Wars fan you're gonna love this anyone in general you're gonna love this great movie great great movie probably one of the best ones possibly the best movie of 2015 in my opinion but uh definitely want to check it out for sure 9.5 out of 10. Star Wars gets it. So. Alright. That's it.